I improved the look of my game from this to this by switching from Unity to Unreal Engine. But was it worth learning Unreal Engine as a Unity game dev just for some graphic improvements? To answer this question, I'm going to recreate the features of my local multiplayer RPG in Unreal Engine, so let's get started. First, I downloaded the version 5.0 of the engine, made a new project, and was surprised that you can create a quite advanced third-person character with just one mouse click. Then I experimented with the interface of the engine, tried out a few things, and at this point it felt pretty similar to Unity, which wasn't the case later on. Anyways, I wanted to see how the assets I'm using will look in Unreal, so I imported them and ran around with the base character. In comparison to the graphics I had in Unity, it's a large improvement with less amount of work, which was great, but also a bit performance heavy. For my setup, Unity ran at nearly 60 FPS, while Unreal ran at around 30, but I feel like sacrificing those FPS is worth the result, and I'm sure there are ways to improve the performance later on. But with the import of the assets done, it was time to customize the character, which was pretty simple. I just had to change the mesh and follow a tutorial on how animation works in Unreal. And that's also the first time I got in touch with blueprinting, which is the visual scripting provided in Unreal Engine. First I was a bit skeptical about it, but it didn't take long until I understood how it works, and in my opinion it felt a bit faster than coding the game in C Sharp, but as I said that's just a feeling and not a fact-based comparison. Anyways, because I was new to blueprinting, I forgot some small things like linking those nodes together, so the first result looked like this instead of this. Then my brother came to me and asked if we could play the game together already, and since the local multiplayer wasn't implemented yet, I continued with this. I watched like three different tutorials regarding this topic, but for some reason none of those brought the right results, so I focused on the spellcasting of the player instead of implementing the multiplayer. I started by attaching the weapon to a so-called socket in the player skeleton, then I added a few more animations and you were able to draw the weapon. One tutorial later you could cast fireball spells, but stupid me forgot to record the creation, so I can just tell you that I'd say adding this feature was in Unreal as easy as in Unity. But before I improved the battle system, I wanted to add an enemy similar to this one, just to see how AI works in Unreal Engine, and to be honest, it wasn't that difficult. With the help of the behavior trees and the corresponding tutorial, it didn't take long until I got the patrolling, chasing and attacking done, but for some reason all my characters like to chitter from time to time. However, I tried to give the enemy a proper weapon, so I set up a base weapon class with a mesh collider and some events, and now I'm able to create as many different swords as I want, and they work perfectly fine. One positive side effect was that for some reason the chittering was gone, so now you are basically able to fight and to die. But as already mentioned, the system needs some improvement, because the current version felt really odd. I started by slowing down the player, which made the whole thing even worse, so I took a look on my Unity project and noticed that I completely forgot the UI and a different camera view when aiming. At the end this was quite easy to implement, but because I remembered the UI on split screen needs to be handled a bit different, I followed the local multiplayer tutorial once again before developing the UI. And this time I actually understood what he was doing and found the mistake I did during my first try. Now split screen works more or less as I wanted to, but the feature to enable and disable split screen on runtime seems to need some C++ coding, and since Unreal didn't like the idea of switching to a C++ project, I had to find a workaround. This workaround consists of two different game modes, so you have to decide in the main menu whether you want to play alone or with a friend, and then you get spawned in the level with the corresponding game mode. So at this point I have to say that I achieved the desired feature easier in Unity, but we'll see how it turns out when I get C++ working. Now, with the multiplayer stuff aside and a brother who keeps asking if he can play the game with me, it was finally time to finish the UI and the battle system. In the first attempt, the hips or basically everything behaved a bit strange and the camera was a bit too close. Let's not even talk about the second attempt, but as the saying goes, all good things come in threes. So it took until the third try that I got some real improvement done by adding direction-based animations. I guess I don't have to explain what I mean by this, because you can see it right here, and we can continue with the last thing remaining to reach the goal of today's video, the character selection. 
I created the UI and blueprinting the logic was no problem as well, at least for mouse and keyboard. But when I added controller support and handled the set focus stuff, things didn't work as expected. And here I'd really appreciate some help if any one of you is familiar with Unreal Engine. The problem I'm talking about is that if one player is in the menu and the other player opens the menu as well, the UI focus of both player go to the UI of player 2. I tried all the different set focus methods, but none of those worked, so I have to live with this bug for now. Anyways, the goal is reached, so let's answer the question if learning Unreal was worth the time. Short answer, yes. And when I planned this video, I wanted to give you a more detailed explanation why, but then I did some research and found out that a lot of features I liked in Unreal are available in Unity as well, I just never noticed or found them. So it seems like even though I used Unity for more than a year, I lack of experience in a lot of fields, so it wouldn't be fair to compare them from my experiences. I just want to tell you that I'll continue with Unreal Engine, because I get an improved look with nearly no effort, and because I personally think I'm able to develop my game generally faster with this engine. If you want to hear my experience anyways, feel free to write a comment, but please don't start disrespectful discussions about which engine is better. I guess it really depends on what you want and what you need for your game, so I would recommend you to just try it out as well, but there are enough videos out there where this topic gets discussed. Anyways, if you got interested in my game, make sure to subscribe and turn on notification to stay up to date. But now, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.